All right, looks like we are focused up. What's up guys, KG, Rough To Be Buff TV. I got a really cool DM from an old client who I haven't worked with in some time, and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, she put, uh, hope all is well with you. Um, I had this really crazy dream that I was at a farmer's market and I ran into you, um, but before you left, you gave me a note of words of encouragement and affirmation. I know it was just a dream, but I wanted to say thank you. I really needed that note and appreciate everything you've done for me and continue to do for others. Miss you mucho, Godspeed. I thought it was super, super cool that even in someone's dream, I was picking them up, um, encouraging someone, affirming that they're awesome, and, and living my purpose and living my passion. And that's what today's vlog is all about. We all have only so much time on earth and how we spend our minutes, weeks, days, months, and years is important in defining happiness. So number one is what are you energetic about? What are you passionate about? What comes easy to you? I had a client who used to work at Sam's Club and she was a phenomenal manager at Sam's Club. Her name was Kara. And um, she was really passionate about organizing other people's homes so they could live a more efficient life. So as a side project, as a side job, she started basically an organization business to where she would come into people's homes, um, do an assessment of their homes and what needed to be fixed and what type of life flow, if they had kids or they're elderly or whatever it may be. And she came in and completely would organize their house room for room, top to bottom, and she created a business out of it. I had a client who got into the restaurant business and he was he loved the food industry. He loved eating food. He liked spirits and wine. He became one of the top Somali on the West Coast because he liked drinking wine. Anything can be your purpose. You gotta keep your eyes wide open because opportunity is around the corner. So think about what you love. Think about what you could talk about all day, 24 hours a day, endlessly, and that you could share with others because a big part of finding your purpose is what can you provide for others, which leads me into my next uh, my next part of this vlog is who are you helping? For me, it's all different types of people. It's older people, it's younger people, it's athletes, it's people recovering from injuries, it's people that are kind of banged up from uh, their workplace, whatever it may be, and what can I provide for them? What type of obstacle am I helping that person overcome? I know a friend who is a dog walker. She walks dogs for a living. Think about that. She likes dogs, she likes getting outside and getting fresh air, and she's getting paid to walk people's dogs for a living. Um, I think it's super, super cool. It doesn't always have to be some extravagant dream or some extravagant passion for you to be living with tons and tons of purpose. The next part of this is your passion will eventually dwindle your fire per se, your passion is very much so like a fire. And anytime we're excited about something, much like when we're in our first, first parts of a relationship and the romance is, is awesome and birds are chirping and the sun is setting and it's beautiful and it's awesome, that will dwindle over time and you're gonna have to find new and creative ways for your passion to grow. So how do you make that happen? Knowledge, becoming a student for life is what's gonna help you maintain and grow that fire. Not one time as a trainer did I ever sit on my laurels and say, hey, I got a full book of clientele, I'm making competitive money, um, all my clients are seeing results, I'm gonna sit back on my ass and I'm not gonna try very hard anymore, I'm not gonna prospect, I'm not gonna go get certifications, I'm not gonna read any more books or watch any more vlogs or put myself around better trainers because that's gonna essentially gonna kill my fire. It's gonna burn my fire, my passion is gonna burn out. So in order for you to keep that passion going, you have to set your brain up and the expectation that you're gonna become a student for life, that the learning will never, ever stop. And that, that also comes with investing. You may have to invest and go take classes to become a better photographer, or you may have to go take go to cooking school or culinary school or whatever it may be. You will have to invest your time and your money for that passion to continue to grow and for you to sharpen your uh, sharpen your skills to, to essentially be the best at, at whatever your path may be. I have had so many people come up to me and say, Kyle, man, I, I wanna become a trainer. I wanna help people out. And I tell them exactly 
what to do step for step, where to get certified, where they should start training, um, how to go about it, how to interview, literally give them every morsel of, of, of advice for them to succeed, but they never do it because they think maybe it isn't for them. Um, there's something, some excuse that they're telling themselves like, oh, well, there's all these other good trainers out there. I don't have a very good social media. Um, I'm not fit enough. These are all just roadblocks that you're creating for yourself that are gonna stop you from living your purpose and your passion. If you know exactly what your passion is, if you know what your vision is, if you can envision exactly the dream, the dream that you wanna live, I tell people this all the time, the dream that you have in your brain, you can live that. 100%, you can make and manifest and create the life that you've always wanted to live. You gotta believe in yourself, you gotta get after it, you gotta educate yourself, and you gotta be ready to work for free in some instances. I've trained probably 15,000 plus hours on floor to where people have paid me for my services. 15,000 hours in my 12 year career. What people don't see is that I've had to give away thousands of hours for free. Assessments, whether it's body fat tables, I had to do nutritional seminars, I had to do free boot camps. Shoot, I had to, to correct people's form on the floor, which I hated to do at 24 Hour Fitness. I have had to create this YouTube channel, which I make zero dollars from, but I'm willing to do this stuff for free because I enjoy it, because I can talk about this stuff all day and I wanna share my passions with you and if I can even give you one piece of advice that can change your life, then mission accomplished, man, and, and I'm willing to do that for free. I've always believed this, that if you're willing to do something for free and you love what you're doing, money will find you. And it isn't always people, and that's okay for money to motivate you, but a lot of times when people are finding their purpose, their passion, or they're kind of lost, and they're stuck at some dead end job, they're thinking, oh, I'm not gonna make enough money. Oh, I, I don't have the money to go get certified. Um, yes, you do. You can find a way. You can cut back on eating out. You can cut back on your expenses. You can go rent a cheaper apartment. You can, there's multiple things you can do. You can pick up a second job. A lot of times we just create excuses to not fulfill our purpose and our passion. So what are you willing to do for absolute free? I mean, I used to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning to train people for free. Sometimes they wouldn't even buy sessions. And I'd be so pissed and I'd think, man, why didn't they buy sessions off me? You know what? Obviously, I didn't, I didn't communicate to them or show them the variables or the plan in order for them to get where they wanted to go. What is your purpose? Find your passion. Be energetic. What are you willing to do for free? And be prepared to be a student for life. I'm KG. This is Rough to be Buff TV. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.